Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, no, that was so dead. Dead, 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 dead. Like, why are you so nervous? Like, come on. Hi, guys. Sister, where you at? Hey. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. When is the launch? It's me, Rudy. Yes, I am back. I apologise for all the subscribers, 180 subscribers I have. I'm so sorry that I haven't been consistent. Um, I just felt, honestly, to be honest with you, after, like it's been a year and that's so bad, it's ridiculous. I always wanted, obviously my channel was based personally on Cabin Crew. I have left... Um, the cabin crew service the cabin crew service i have left being cabin crew over a year ago and um that was not the reason why i stopped the channel i just felt after i started doing a few videos i did like one cabin crew got so many views which thank you so much like the what's in my bag got 6.5 k views Six thousand people not six thousand people six thousand times someone has clicked on a few people have clicked on and my apps my actual my apps i can't even speak properly my you know video and i'm so grateful for that like i can't believe it still i'm and now i know obviously you guys are interested in what i say i i i do feel bad because when i started a year ago 100 percent, especially because you know i worked in british airways you know i'm out of the business now i can speak freely you saw my uniform i never said exactly where i worked but I can say it freely now that yes, when I started, 100% there was no one. There was a guy that used I used to work with. He put a video up, but I don't know if he still does that no more. But there was no one that actually videoed anything from BA. <coughs> I'm now seeing a few people have done that. Like maybe they've uh, maybe they've asked their um, managers, IBMs, whatever. But I don't know, I find it a little bit risky sometimes. I I don't know with BA, I don't think they're really comfortable with people like doing this when you're still in service. When I started a ego, no one did it. I felt like I was the only one. Maybe I wasn't, but it like I looked, I did, you know, click, try click, type British Airways and I couldn't find anything. But now I've seen a few people do it and you know, good on them. I love to see how, you know, everyone experiences are and stuff, but um yeah, so I started this Cabin Crew series and I didn't finish. However, I am going to finish it. And there will be people be like, oh my gosh, you're still clinging on to the fact that you're from BA. <laughs> May I worked for BA, British Airways, BA City Flyer, whatever. And you know, I had a good time there and I'm still friends with people at that work. However, you know, I have a good relationship with a, with a lot of the people that I used to work with who knows one day i might go back there but at this moment in time i have left and i wanted to speak a lot more about that because obviously i, I don't know in the cab i don't think it was in the cabin crew what's in my bag um video but i did say i wanted to do a q a and people was writing stuff on q a and i never got back to them but i would love 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 before i get into what i'm about to say and stuff i would love everyone 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 who wants to watch in this please 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 send in your um questions and i will answer them 100 percent freely um in the comment section below and please i might in my next video now 100 percent that will be the q a video i do have still questions but i feel like it's not enough questions so um yes i would really like and appreciate you to comment below but this video is what have i been up to since i've left and why did i leave but i love british airways i worked in ba city flyer it's a subsidiary part of british airways but it's british airways we wear the full uniform with the hat i left last year march um why did i leave i just felt like i had enough <laughs> i worked on short haul i didn't do long haul every time i tell anyone Oh my gosh, 
like you know I worked in BA and I was like oh my gosh like that was so exciting and it was it was really good like when I left university I had a whole year of not working having the odd jobs internships here and there and Brasheres was my first first job since leaving university so I was 22 then or 21 still 22 and trust me guys it was a huge sh not a huge shock it was a year it was a huge shock to the system you know I applaud all the girls that you know start flying when they're 18 because if I was 18 and I started a full-on job like that I don't think I'll be able to handle it especially in short haul I think everyone needs to understand and I'm going to be frank with you guys short haul and long haul are two different things guys I worked in short haul everyone assumes that short haul is easier it's not easy it's harder than long haul long haul you have lots of time and a lot more crew to help you out short haul where I was working my planes were smaller I wasn't working in short haul Gatwick I was working in short haul at City Airport it was I'm doing this a lot um it was hard it was only a two crew operation um you know the flights were quick and you had to be on the ball and it did take a lot out of you when I did start I was sick all the time guys all the time when I fly as a passenger on a normal flight I never am sick I am never sick at all ever ever but when I started working I was sick all the time because once you take off and the plane is still escalating I think that's the word I've forgotten all these terminologies um they release you from your seats I think it starts to settle a bit and then it goes up again and you you get released from your seats probably by then by this time and um once we're still going up I'm rushing around trying to get the trolley over and I felt like it just it kind of knocked me knocked my equilibrium <laughs> well it just kind of made me feel a little bit off balance and then I always had to throw up I never threw up in the galley like in the aisle never I knew when I'm going to be sick and I would go to the toilet and I'd be sick <laughs> but it was something that happened for a good six months I kept on being sick at work had to go to my doctors they kept me anti-sickness tablets antihistamine this this that 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 and it you know it still wasn't working and later on it started to work because I did have my tablets and um I would take a tablet like every few hours depending on how long my flight was but I knew especially when I would get it it was really weird like if it was early in the morning I had like a especially when you're doing a when we're doing frankfurt night stops i think the pickup time is at four o'clock in the morning or four something or was it five something like that and it's so early you don't eat nothing you just feel so hungry you're so tired still and doing an early flight the smell of the breakfast it just made me feel a bit sick and going up all in all i started to be i was always sick and it was just a thing that we didn't know what to do but i got through it after six months but there'll be some times where you know i'd be sick one off one offly um but yeah that was one of the problems i had flying i was always sick and i'm not a person i'm sick when i fly like as a passenger it was only when i was working and you're still going up and you feel i, I feel like my body just felt a little bit off balance i was moving a bit too much and it just made me motion sick sickly motion sickness i had motion sickness so that was one of me problems that i had working there um that was what i don't want to say i don't want to say that was one of the reasons because i got over it but i would say the main reason i did leave is just that i kind of i just knew that i didn't want to fly forever and i and i'm not gonna lie there was a few people at my way that always just tell me like you're young do this do that do that but i just felt like i didn't want to do this forever and I really wanted to explore other things and I didn't want to be one of those people that I get stuck into the job and I feel like now that's all what I know that I don't feel com confident going into another job because all I know is flying and like currently now like I go part-time um I go part-time to an acting school um ooh, I'm learning a lot from it and I would have never been able to do that if I still was working at BA 
and I felt like I don't want to say I'm in a midlife crisis because I'm not 30 I'm in my 20s like but I'm not even in my late 20s but yeah I just felt like I want to start doing things for myself I want to try and do things that I would love to do I don't about and I've always been passionate about acting I love acting singing I've always wanted to be either a singer an actor a teacher something like that but I don't want to be a teacher but you know I, I've, I've always loved creating stuff and that's that's when I'm most comfortable in is being in the camera however it's really weird like I wasn't comfortable being on this camera um that's why I haven't been filming but acting I don't care I'm a different character I can I'm so comfortable doing that but being on YouTube and being myself I'm like oh eek yeah, that's what I never say never in terms of me going back would I go back I think go back to city yes I kind of I know everything so maybe one day I would like to go back and stuff I'll write a letter <laughs> if they tell me no you're not allowed because you're too short I'll be like um excuse me I still got my assertion I started in 2015 and I was fine no one told me off so you can't tell me that but who knows um, maybe one day I would like to go back but I think I'd rather try I would try things on the ground and stuff I think flying I'm done with at the moment you know short haul as well I feel like don't the truth about short haul is that I feel like people need to understand. Like I, I applied for it thinking it'll be much more easier, it'll ease my way into to doing long haul one day, but that was not the case. Short haul is really, really hard, really hard, and very tiring on your body. If you're someone that is that you just think that you're just going to be on beaches and in cities and doing nothing then you've got another thing coming maybe you shouldn't do short you shouldn't do short tour for maybe city airport <laughs> but i don't know how gatwick fleet is they do two sector days i don't know if they still do that correct me if i'm, if I'm wrong um not trying to shade anything but it is really hard four sector days on the go at city it is a lot and if you're someone that can't hack it then i don't think you should apply for it honesty but if you're someone that really wants to get stuck in and you really want to know the hardship of cabin crew and stuff i think go for short haul but short haul is really good in terms of where i worked you kind of knew everyone we had an edinburgh base and we had a london base and we knew everyone not everyone but pretty much you get to know every single person and um, because it's quite small it's not so big that you know it's you're one of thousands like you're one of hundreds if you know what I mean like or maybe you are one of thousands I'm not too sure no it must be one of hundreds one of hundreds it can't be one of thousands but yeah so you're so you get to know everyone is a really nice family as well people have your I don't, I don't want to say people have your back yeah people do have your back and you can make a lot of really good friends as well where I work you, you know the airport crew you know the airport staff it, it is a really nice family when i you know when i started last year we had so much fun we used to go out parties it, you know what well, there's a lot of stories in terms of the wild parties we went to but <laughs> but i think it's as i've seen on instagram and stuff it's so it's toned down now it's not as hardcore it was when i was there but it's toned down now and a lot of people when i started with have moved on i think yeah a few people from my actual team they've gone to be now like you know supervisors managers um yeah cabin crew managers and stuff and a few of us have left also so you know it all depends but am i happy that i left yes is my mom happy no of course my mom loved it ah you worked in ba uh, my daughter was in ba but I'm done <laughs> I was done with it when I left I was thinking oh did I make the right decision I was kind of second guessing myself however I'm so happy that I made that decision at that time I am happy because I didn't want to be stuck in thank you please 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 follow me on my instagram rudy darkwa r-u-d-y-d-a-r-k-w-a you can follow me on snapchat rudy ld but I don't really use snapchat no more Follow me on my Facebook when's the launch and just subscribe to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. And God bless. <laughs> Bye. See you in my next video.